June marks the beginning of Pride Month, a month that began to commemorate a raid at the Stonewall Inn in New York, leading to a liberation march. Celebrations are kicking off in Kentucky. Some advocates tell LEX 18's Rachel Richardson that new laws, with new laws taking effect just weeks from now, Pride Month means something more this year. 2023 began with what many advocates called anti-LGBTQ bills, including the drag bill and the passing of Senate Bill 150 that bans gender-affirming care for youth, doesn't require preferred pronouns to be used in schools, and restricts bathroom use. But it's been rough for our whole community. I mean, all of us have um, seen an increased um, risk out there. You know, it's harder to trust folks in the community. Um, but that makes celebrating Pride even more important because it's always been and it and will continue to be this year um, a statement of affirmation of our lives and who we are and of joy in the face of folks who don't want us to exist. Today, one LGBTQ and transgender advocate, Emma Curtis, announced her candidacy for the 93rd Kentucky House District. She explains that she chose today because she wants the youth in the community to know that they have a voice. I think it's significant to announce my candidacy today at the start of Pride Month because I was once a scared trans kid in Kentucky and I didn't believe that I had a place here and I want every single trans kid to know that they deserve a voice in this commonwealth and that they belong here too. For Emma, running for a political office is taking her advocacy to the next level. This Pride Month, she hopes that people get out and celebrate. Uh, I believe it is a very political statement to be joyful in the face of oppression. And I believe that this Pride Month offers us a unique opportunity to come together and show that we as our LGBTQ community are not going to go and cower away from this fight, that we are going to stand firmly together and we are going to emerge stronger than ever. Lexington Pride Center's executive director explains that there are many ways to celebrate all over the state. She says it's a moment for people to remember how far the community has come. It's a time to like remember what our community has been through and that we have overcome and that though it's, it's really scary and it's hard when you're facing new assaults to your freedoms and to your rights. Um, but I would most want people to know, like you rest on a community and a heritage where we have overcome. These advocates encourage others to find a way to celebrate their pride. In Lexington, Rachel Richardson, LEX 18 News.